Hi, my name is Michael Novello from visualpix.com. Welcome to 5 Minutes Photoshop. Here I present you fast and effective Photoshop effects and techniques in 5 minutes or less. In this tutorial, I want to show you what is the difference between opacity and fill option here on the layers. First thing is we have a text here and the opacity. If we bring down the opacity, text gets yeah, transparent. Because you are lowering the opacity of the whole layer. And this is the keyword you're lowering for the whole layer. And this is important to know. If we have something like a effect on the layer, like that, we have here a little bit of a, an outer glow. And we lower the opacity and the outer glow is affected as well. But if we lower the fill, only the pixels in the layer are affected, not the effects and whatever you uh, affects the layer. As you can see, we now think through the, the letters, but the effect is still there. And a much more interesting thing in retouching of this opacity and fill is if we put in here a new layer, we can see this model is lit from the left and on the right side it's really dark. And normally you can work with exposure or something else and uh, you can, or brightness and contrast, you can mask out and can try to um, fit to the lightning here. But there's another thing we can do. We go with a brush, a big brush, and with a black and white color here. And then we change the color with the X key, we change to black. And I click in there one time, and I hold the position. Then I'm changing to white, and click one more time. And now I'm going to change the blend mode to color dodge. And now you can see something happens here. <clears throat> If we change the layer to the color dodge, we're getting something like a light, like a flashlight, or like a studio uh, flash, something like that. It's a flare, it's a light. And now, if we now lower the opacity, uh, not, not the opacity, we lower the fill, and we're moving this dot here over to the model. You can see we can light up the model stress, we can light up this, the face here and just play with the, the settings here on the fill and now you can even play with the opacity to get the right effect here. But the main thing is you work with the fill. And now I'm going to copy that layer here and I move it down and with this method I can bring back the light to the model and I can I can light parts whatever or wherever I want to get a little bit light in the model I can I can bring this a little bit down and scale this down this dot here and bring it over maybe here and with this method, you can relight your uh, new photo if you have it made in a studio and you have a light situation like that, but you want a little bit more light on this side. This is the, the easiest way to get a little bit light into your image and you can really control it. You can move the spot wherever you need the light is affecting the image. And as you can see, this is here before and this is the after. And this is the real cool thing about opacity versus fill. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you for watching my videos. Um, if you like my videos, you can subscribe to my channel right here in the middle and my last two videos you can find here and here and if you really like my videos you can support me on patreon.com here's the link 
And thanks again. And see you next time. Bye.